It's a beautiful day, you guys. Happy Saturday. I'm crawling in my car to get some sunglasses because we're going for a drive, a little Saturday drive on this beautiful, beautiful spring day. I decided to match my scrunchie to the first day of spring. I feel like this is a spring scrunchie. It has like, it's like don't mind my birthmark. <laughs> Daisies are... It kind of looks like a summer thing. No, I think it looks spring. Anyways, the boys are playing. Look at this one. <laughs> the boys are playing basketball. They seen a uh, hoop or a, you know, a net or whatever. And they wanted to stop and play basketball. So they're doing that. And Florence and I are just like not feeling the basketball thing right now. So we're just sitting for a minute. We might go for a walk around. We should go for a little walk while not they now, play. Though. What? Not now. Not now? Like in 10 minutes. Okay. It's the perfect first day of spring. It's actually like. It's so warm. Out. Yeah, we're finding it really warm. And it's 4 degrees Celsius. And that is 39 degrees Fahrenheit and I know some of you guys in warmer climates are like that is winter but it's spring we are we got the windows down <laughs> we were driving with the air conditioning on it was nice I can't wait to go camping speaking of air conditioning we don't have air conditioning in our house but in the trailer there's AC and it is lovely and I just think I know Grammy says too yeah my mom has AC they're fancy we don't have AC so we are quite warm in the winter or summer anyway so in front of the sled where are they sledding no drive is complete without Tim Hortons there's still so much snow you guys it's it's crazy I got that strawberry cheesecake donut I seen Sherry talking about this she said it was good, and I think my sister tried it and said it was good, so I'm gonna give it a try. Today's flavor is going to be pina colada. This one's pretty good. This is the perfect representation of <laughs> how my brain feels right now. I'm finding myself comparing myself to the version of me that was this time last year in March, 2020. I was my best self. I was so positive. I was in a really good mental space. I was very physically fit. I was so strong. I was running 5Ks. I was, in my opinion, the best version of me. And it just happens. We get uh, a bit of course and here we are feeling blah so what i want to do is guys i haven't been i know what works for me i know what makes me feel so good and i know the routine that i had back in march 2021 or 2020 was amazing i looked forward to like waking up every morning and doing my routine like i looked forward to it and now i'm like oh it's morning like, it's just, it happens. We're all human. It happens. And I'm just ready to feel my best. I'm not feeling terrible or bad or just, I'm just, I don't feel my best. And I've shared that with you guys so many times over like the past months where I'm like, man, I'm feeling a bit blah or I'm this and that. Well, I'm just ready to not. You know what I mean? I want to have more good days than bad. And I'm just ready to hit the ground running. So here's my plan. This is what works for me. The thing that I find the most, besides like eating healthy and exercising, that's a given. I think that works for like everybody. Everyone knows that about life. That if you eat healthy and exercise, you tend to feel good. So besides that, what I find helpful is writing in my planner. I've said this over and over and over again, but you guys, I have not written in this planner in like two weeks. It's such, it's such a shame. I, I don't know. My planner is a very interesting indication of how I'm feeling. You can tell the weeks where I'm on my top game and the weeks where I'm not. Just by the way I plan. It's so crazy to see. But I haven't been using it and I want to. I love using my planner. I love sitting down in the evening and just having a plan for the next day or writing little to-do lists or shopping lists or and I just do well with pen to paper. So that's something that I find that really helps me and it's so important to have into my routine 
like just that putting pen to paper and planning out your day, writing out your thoughts. Um, journaling is the other thing. Where am I? Oh my God, maybe I missed three weeks. Oh my goodness, has it been three weeks? What's today? Oh yeah, we've missed a few weeks, but this is this week, so we didn't, we don't got anything written down. So I want to sit down tonight and write stuff out, even though it's Thursday and the week is basically done. I can still plan Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, I find that helpful just to have something written down and something uh, to go to bed knowing that this is what the plan is for tomorrow. That's just the way my brain works. I'm very routine. So that I find helpful, like just knowing what the plan's going to be. And I'm very like plan, like I need to have a plan. So that's how I work. Journaling is really helpful. I find that's the first thing to go whenever I tend to ditch something. It's the journaling because it's very intentional. And I find I'm not being like super intentional anymore with anything in my life, with what I'm eating, with like doing my makeup, like doing my makeup makes me so happy. I love it so much. It, the process of it just makes me happy. And I just, I'm not doing it. And I'm like, why? Like if it makes me feel good, if it makes me happy, if I have a better day, then why am I, why am I skipping that? <laughs> so I want to, make a point to start to do my makeup and not necessarily every day but like maybe sometimes like I don't even wear it anymore <laughs> like so write my planner write in a journal do some makeup I'm going to start writing in my start to day journal which if you're not if you haven't heard about it it's a it's a practice where you write down every morning you write down five things that you're grateful for and it sounds so cheesy and so like wooey and stuff. It truly like, I'm look at me now and look at me last March and you can see the difference in just my demeanor. I was so positive, I was so happy. And not saying that I'm not, I feel like I am a very peppy, uplifting, happy person, but I'm not my best self right now. And I just find it so helpful every morning writing down five things that you're grateful for and it's not big elaborate things like I'm thankful for my kids or I'm thankful for my home it's looking for the little things in the day to be grateful for like uh I'm grateful for morning hugs or I'm grateful for someone letting me out in traffic or I'm grateful for the perfect cup of coffee or I'm grateful for the sun you know, I don't know, <laughs> the sun, <laughs> we don't see much of it in the winter here, but you know what I mean? Just little things. I'm thankful for writing to my planner today, like just little things. Write down five things that have happened in the last 24 hours, little things that you can look back on and be grateful that has happened. And I have two years worth of it written down, two years worth of journals i'll show you really quickly the journals that i've written them in where they're full of everything that i was grateful for and it's really cool to look back these are full all these are full i can read you an example if you want <laughs> let me try to find oops. let me try to find one hey what's today join for march 25th? Is today the 25th? I'll show you because I've written in this every day. March 25th. Okay, exactly. I'm gonna I'm gonna read this to you. This is it here. I'm not sure if you can see. You can see the date there. 2019. March 25th, 2019. Sleeping in with Trevor. An awesome barbecue at mom's. We had a barbecue? mom's new phone <laughs> i was thankful for her phone that's interesting back to school slash routine so this must have been going back to school after march break and makeup well so that's what i was thankful for i like to look back on them um so i haven't been doing this <laughs> and i'm gonna be honest with you i don't think i've done this since maybe the pandemic started like I think I stopped in like April of 2020 so I'm going to start writing in those again I have a few goals for myself 
you know I don't know you guys it's it sucks not feeling your best self you know I'm ready to like make the change and just put effort into myself again and take care of myself because if I'm being honest with you guys I'm not taking care of me I'm not at all I literally cannot stop eating I'm not intentional with what I'm eating I'm not paying attention to my water intake I'm not moving my body as much as I would like I go for the odd walk and sometimes I'll do a little workout but it's not intentional it's not like a you know I'm just not there yet but I'm gonna get there so that's what I'm doing right now I'm gonna work on this planner write things out try to feel some sort of me I want to feel back to me you know I am up and doing the to-do list early today I'm at Walmart it's like 8 30 I just dropped the kids off at school and I actually wrote a list so hopefully I'll stick to the list but if not that's okay too <laughs> sometimes I venture off uh what's on my list I have I need to get Advil I need to get cleaner I need to get deodorant shampoo a toilet brush dishwasher tabs laundry soap uh, laundry soap, light bulbs, Trevor's deodorant. I put men's deodorant in case I got confused. Lucky charms, sandwich bags. And that's what's on my list. It's a miscellaneous trip to Walmart. And those are the most expensive ones, but what are you going to do? You need the stuff, right? I'm just like, we're out. Like, literally, I'm not wearing deodorant. <laughs> we're in perfume, but not deodorant because... I'm just, I'm out. So I don't know what Trevor's doing. So anyways, I'm doing Walmart this morning. I put a little bit of makeup on, not much, just a little bit, but I already feel good. You know what I mean? I don't know. I woke up 10 minutes earlier. I washed my face really good, put a little bit of makeup on. It was just nice. And I haven't done that in a long time, just in the morning, like just take 10 minutes for myself. Cause normally I wake up in the morning. Like as soon as I wake up, I make breakfast for the kids and I'm just getting the morning routine going. And I don't, I literally drive the kids to school in my pajamas. Like you guys have seen it a million times and today I didn't. And today I got ready and put a little bit of effort into myself and I was good to go. So anyway, I'm going to go into Walmart. <laughs> I did pretty good sticking to the list. Um, I just got a few things that weren't on it, like the grapes. I got some brown sugar that was on sale. Um, I think everything else might have been on the list. I got deodorant for Trevor. I got dish soap that wasn't on the list, but I do need it. I got some sparkling water. I've never tried the orange flavor, so I'm excited. Dishwasher tabs, Lucky Charms, shampoo. I'm not sure if I tried the smooth and sleek one yet. I really like the Dove deodorant, it's my favorite. So I got that one, some sandwich bags, some, these come in different packaging now, eh? Like they used to come in the, oh, they still do, but they had this, the Lysol wipes. I got some Advil, some spray cleaner, Mr. Floor. I like to use this on my floor, a toilet brush, uh, laundry soap that's everything but yeah that's what i got as you can tell i'm gearing up to a little bit of spring cleaning speaking of spring look at all the snow in the yard that's not bad that's not bad right like a few days ago well maybe like five days ago we had piles and piles and piles of snow and now it's gone spring is in the air i just wrote in my start today journal it feels really good to get back at that I feel like I need to not try to make a bunch of changes at once. And I think I'm going to really focus on doing that journal because that journal literally just makes me feel so much better. And I'm going to really, really try to do that every single day. I did it every single day for like two years and then I just stopped. So I know I can do it. So I'm going to make that a big priority definitely um anyway I have my planner and I'm just checking things off the list and I think it's gonna be a good day I really really do off to a good start anyway so I plan on spending the day doing some laundry giving the house 
a decent deep clean uh not like a no I'm gonna try I don't know I'm not like necessarily in the cleaning mood and I find when I'm in the cleaning mood I do so much better but I want to give the house a good cleaning before the weekend and I am yeah laundry I think that's all I have planned today just doing like house stuff but Anyways, I'm going to end this video here. I'm going to edit this today. That's on the to-do list and get it up for you guys. I hope you guys have a good weekend and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.